Moving the motion on President Muhammadu Buhari's request for the approval of 496 billion naira for the purchase of aircraft from the U.S. government. The senator representing Edo Central, Matthew Rogide, says the president's communication is medicine after death. He says the president's action is a violation of the provisions of the constitution, adding that it is an impeachable offense. This matter is not, is not to be investigated. It is clear that this offense has been committed by Mr. President. If it has been committed, do we now say the violation of the constitution is what we have to take for the shortcoming of the executive or Mr. President? Or we don't believe we want to run our country like a banana republic. The consequences that are contained in the provisions of section 143 of our constitution should be invoked. The senator representing Enugu North, Chukuka Utazi, in his contribution, lamented that the number one citizen of the country decided to act contrary to the constitution, saying that he risked impeachment. The chief executive of this country has decided to act outside the constitution. This is not uh, the first time this thing has happened, Mr. President. If we have a, a, a chief executive who doesn't want to behave according to the constitution, we follow the constitution also to handle such a, a chief executive. And there's no way to, uh, there's no other name to call this a uh, such uh, that this is an impeachment offense. Kaduna Central Senator Shehusani admitted that the killings in the country threatens the peace of Nigeria. He also agreed that President Muhammad Buhari is carrying out his responsibility of protecting lives and properties of the citizenry. He, however, says that it should not be an excuse for the president to violate the nation's constitution. We are concerned that this violence and mindless bloodletting and massacre is threatening the peace, the unity, the stability and the future of our country. Our country is becoming a fallen state. I also appreciate and recognize the effort of the president and the federal government in general in trying to bring order and security and peace to these areas that have seen much bloodshed, much massacre, funeral services, burial and mourning is becoming the order of the day in the country today. But that is not an excuse violate the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Holding a contrary view, Senator Abu Ibrahim challenged his colleagues on why they are condemning the president's action. He recalled that former administrations had spent monies without approval from the National Assembly. I believe the president has done something which is very, very fundamental. As far as I'm concerned, this is the first time that expenditure of this kind, money that was withdrawn, from uh, excess crude account was is being discussed in this national assembly. Senator Abu's contribution, however, did not go down well with some senators, as Senator Samuel Anyaun tackled Senator Abu, saying his submission is out of context. Mr. Mr. President, what has been done today is a pure breach of the constitution. It was a pure breach of the constitution. I must realize that. Deputy Leader of the Senate, Bala Ibn Nahala, however moved for the matter to be referred to appropriate committees so as to advise and guide the Senate on what to do. This was adopted by Senate President and unanimously adopted. Osawana May Bizugbe, ITV News, Abuja.